Hey everybody, happy Friday. Uh, this is going to be our rules video to explain our intramural basketball uh, tournament. I figured it would probably be easier to just kind of share this in the IE uh, all at the same time. So uh, as you guys are watching this, every IE is kind of uh, hearing the same rule set. That way if you guys have any questions, you can ask me, you can send an email, you can come down after your IE is done with this video and talk to me if you guys have any concerns or questions about anything. Um, our IE basketball intramural tournament is probably going to start next Friday. Uh, and what that's going to look like, well, first of all, uh, we have 15 teams that have signed up. There are two IEs that had pretty small teams that uh, I ended up combining into one team. Most of our teams have between um, five and 10, five and 12 players. Um, obviously there are going to be times when maybe people are absent and stuff like that. So, uh, that's going to affect your team size too, but we're going to have 15 teams in our, uh, in our first intramural tournament here during IE. And so what's going to happen is each Friday, there's going to be four teams that are assigned, uh, to have, to play basketball, uh, during IE. So, um, only the kids who are going to be on the basketball team are going to go to the gym that day and um, you know you can check in an IE or whatever but you your IE teacher should let you know beforehand like on Friday we have our gym day uh, we have our basketball day so you know these people you know if you're on the team which I have the rosters all set um, if for some reason your name is not on the roster sheet and you you know, are like, hey, I want to play basketball. Like, I need to know that because that's how we're going to be able to tell who's allowed into the gym and who's not allowed into the gym. So I know, uh, especially sixth grade, a couple of you guys were absent um, during signups. And um, if you were absent and you want to get on the list, let me know because I'm going to finalize those lists today, uh, if at all possible, so that we can get that rolling. So what's going to happen? Those four teams are going to go down. If it's not your gym day, um, then you will just stay in IE like normal. So you pretty much get like one a month here. Uh, and when you go down, you're going to end up playing three games um, in every IE. So they're, they're going to be pretty quick. The faster you can get down there to the gym, uh, your whole team, if we can get everyone down there like what, before the bell rings, that'd be awesome. And um, we can kind of divvy it up. I can tell you who's playing where on what court. And then um, we can get our game started. The idea is probably 10 minute games. Uh, by the time we get down there, we get started. Um, obviously, IE is only 42 minutes long, right? Uh, so we want to make sure that uh, we can get the 10 games in, or the three games in. Um, so each of those are going to be about 10 minutes long. And it's going to be five on five basketball, okay? Um, because there's no markings on the side hoops like that, um, we're just gonna play by ones. So each hoop you make, no matter where you make it from, it's gonna be worth a point. Um, we're not gonna do free throws. If you get fouled, we're gonna, we're gonna call our own fouls. Um, I will likely be in the gym to kind of help out with fouls and, and, and just running things as, um, as well as maybe some other teachers might be down there too to help out. Um, if that's the case, uh, we can we can help with those fouls and stuff like that, but if you get fouled You're just gonna kind of call your own foul uh, and you could take it back, you know back out at the top of the key or whatever um, and uh, Take the ball out and, and just start playing again if you get fouled um, For those ten minutes like I said, we're gonna play by ones uh, so each hoop made is just a point um, if at the end of ten minutes, I'm gonna call time if two teams are tied at the end, uh, then what we'll do is we'll stop the other games uh, that are going on. If two teams are tied, they're going to play sudden death until the next person scores. And then that will be who gets the, the W, okay? Um, a lot of teams have more than five players. So what we're going to do is at that five-minute mark, we're going to just sub. So that way, we, at least we'll have even playing time. I think every team has more than five. Um, 
you can kind of choose who comes out and who go, you know, who stays in, that kind of stuff. Obviously, if you have 10 players, it'll be real easy. Five are in the game, you switch those five out. Um, so if you have teams in your IE, on your IE team, like maybe you have a lot of basketball players um, that are on like the, the middle school basketball team, I would probably recommend not putting them all in at the same time, right? You probably want to split them up. Um, or maybe you have like some really tall kids, maybe don't put them all in at the same time, right? Um, you guys can decide that as a team, but there's not going to be any arguing or, or, you know, if there is, then I'll just shut that down right away. Uh, this is, this whole thing is a privilege. So for any reason, uh, if there's, you know, you are giving people a hard time in the gym, uh, you're not showing good sportsmanship. Uh, if you if your teachers feel like you need to work on work because you're not doing your work in class, you can be removed from this program at any time. Uh, so that's just some incentive for you guys to keep up on your schoolwork, uh, keep your grades up, especially if you want to keep playing basketball. Uh, this is going to be pretty fun. So we're going to get through. Uh, we're going to do some playing games to kind of seed our teams, and um, based on your records. Um, at the end of probably the end of somewhere in January uh, after we do some play in games each team at least has two Fridays then we're gonna seed a tournament and so on um, we'll have like the first seed play the 15th actually we won't get into the logistics but uh, basically like two teams will play if you lose then you're gonna be out of the tournament and eventually we'll come down to just like March Madness where we'll have one team remaining. That will be our middle school intramural basketball champions. And uh, something, some sort of prize. Some definitely recognition at the next pep rally. We'll talk about that. But uh, you got to play for something, right? Um, hope, you know, just like we do with the Spirit Banana. Um, something that's going to show some pride to your to your IE, um, so that's that's that should be pretty cool, um, and maybe some sort of special reward for the team members who who actually end up winning the whole thing too. So um, that's kind of the logistics how that's going to work. Um, if it's not your Friday, please don't come and ask me. Hey, is it our Friday yet? I'm going to send the schedule out so that everyone knows which Fridays you guys will be uh, responsible to play in games those days. Um, and it will be, it's not necessarily going to be just sixth graders versus sixth graders. It's going to be all mixed together. So at the end of this thing, we're going to have one champion. It could be a sixth grade IE, a seventh grade IE, or an eighth grade IE. Um, that's pretty much it um, as far as playing goes. Um, we can talk a little bit more about like where the court is. We're going to be playing side to side on the gym so we can get two games in at the same time. And uh, I think it'll work fine. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to email me, um, or come down and ask me right now after this video is done and uh, I can kind of clear those up for you and we will try to start getting this going next Friday. All right. So, uh, that's it for me. That should be good. Hopefully you listen to the rules and you don't ask me questions that I already answered because, uh, that's not, I don't love that. So. Hopefully you were good listeners. Uh, if not, I'm sure that someone in your IE right now can help you out. And again, if you guys have something that I didn't talk about, uh, then feel free to come down and ask. Okay? All right. You guys have an excellent weekend and enjoy the rest of your Friday in IE.